Hey guys, it's me Typhoon Hotbird here today. Today I will be showing you how to get the arcade simulator MAME on your Nintendo Wii. Very simple. First you will need something, if you don't have it, you will need to click in the uh, video description below will tell you how to do it. How to get the homebrew channel. That will give you access to, so you can get the uh, uh, emulator. But if you have the homebrew channel, you will need something called the homebrew browser. And I'm going to be showing you that now. So what you want to go on Google, you want to type in We Brew. Oh God. Like that. And you want to click WeBrew.org. Or you can just type it in here. As I've ju uh, just recently, this month, uh, last Monday, from uploading today, someone, ha someone who made Homebrew died. Well, I can't kind of find quite amazing. Anyway, see so what you want to do is you want to go to your search bar down here from the website. You want to go here and type in home brew browser. It should come up as a page like this and it should look like this. If you see this little bar, you want to go over here and click download. So you want to press download, then after that you want to go to your downloads folder, and it should be somewhere around here, go find it, it'll be called Homebrew Browser, it'll be, it'll be an extract file, you want to extract the file, and then you want to put it to the root of your SD, so let me show you. So here's the root of my SD card, so if you don't already have an, an apps folder, you want to, uh, uh, you want to right click, and go to new folder and call it apps and then you want to open apps and what the extracted file you have so it looks like a plain folder like this with homebrew browser like that you want to drag that file into to into the apps folder so once you've done that done that you want to go to your nintendo wii oh yeah and eject you want to right click and press eject then take it out of your computer and take it to your wii so guys, once you get into your homebrew, uh, homebrew browser, you want to go to, I mean not homebrew browser, homebrew channel, like this. You want to go find the, uh, well, where is it, here, you want to find the app in your homebrew browser, uh, homebrew channel called homebrew browser, the one I'm pointing at, this one, and you want to click on it and press load. It should, really don't worry about this guys, it's just connecting to the internet. Don't worry, it's just, it's just literally connecting to the internet so it can like access all these uh, files. So once it's loaded, you want to go into these uh, top bars here, you want to click emulators. It should, don't worry guys, If it's fr don't think it's frozen, it does that sometimes, it's trying to load. You want to go down into, yeah again guys, all these emulate, these are emulators for the Wii, so you can like do it yourself guys, there's so many emulators, I have done a, a PS1 emulator, how to use that, that will be in the description below if you want to know that. So you want to go down until you find a, a one called SDL Main Wii, arcade, uh, em, uh, oh my god, I can't even say it, emulation. Sorry, emulator. Oh my god, sorry. You want to click on it and you want to press download. Because I already have downloaded it, it won't be there. But download it. And yeah, so once you downloaded it, you want to click the home button and press return to loader. I mean, yeah, return to loader. So once you've done that, guys, you should have the, the main Wii here. But for, you've got the uh, emulator, now you have to get ROMs, so I'll be telling you how to get the ROMs. So you want to, basically, it's safe to take, your, to take your SD card out right now. It's pretty, it's safe. Oh god, if I can take it out. So you take your SD card out and you go back to the computer. So once you go back on the computer and you put your SD card back and you want to go onto the internet and type in main main. ROMs, and 
you should click the first one. You can click any of them you want, but I click this one. And you go down and find whatever ROM you want for arcade. So, example, you can get Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, that's my favourite. But we're going to get this game. Where is it? There we go. Sega Rally Championship. So basically you click on it. And you go down. Oh god. Click this click the direct link. And then it will take you to another web page and you press download. If you go down to the bottom it will press it will be another link. So you click that and it downloads it. So once you've downloaded it, guys, it should be in your downloads folder, but I've taken the I've taken it out of my downloads and put it in my desktop. So here it is. It the prop the it should be a zip file. As you can see, it's a zip file. So guys, for once you don't actually have to extract it, so please don't extract it. So what you want to do is go to your SD card, go to and on your SD card, because you've installed the uh, main emulator, automatically you should have a folder called MAME on your SD, in the root of your SD card. So you want to click on that, then it should come up like this. Basically, you want to click on ROMs, go into ROMs, and that's where all your ROMs go. As you can see, I have some already. Uh, only the only Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles work. For some reason, it doesn't even recognise these. But oh well. So that's the zip file. Do not extract them. It doesn't work. Just leave them in your ex uh, leave them in the uh, zip file. So what you want to do is basically drag and drop it into the fo ROMs folder. And... So once it's in there, you're done, guys. So now you can go back to your Wii. Uh, Eject it from your. Uh, eject. Take your SD card out. I'm going to go back to the Wii. Oh god, drop the SD card on the floor. Put your SD card back into the Wii. Home. Oh god. Uh, basically, this emulator, this version only is compatible with your Wii remote. But there is a, another version that's compatible with your GameCube controller, but I've tried it, but it won't work. For some reason, I'm having faults and saying can't do this, even though I've done it. So I've decided to do it this, this version. But it's not as good as the other version, but I'd recommend this version if you definitely want an arcade emulation to work. So you want to go to main Wii, load. Da, da, da. Just wait for a minute. And it should look like this. As you can see, not all the emulators recognise. As you can see, my one hasn't recognised again. Hasn't recognised my other game, what's really annoying. The only game it's recognised is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I'll find out for you guys why it hasn't recognised it. Maybe I've done something wrong. But anyway, we're just going to do this one. <laughs> so you, once you... I think it said you have to download two things to make it work, but I'm not sure. More, more information will be in the next video. But here we go. God. So you press it, it should come up all like this. But blah. Ram check, thinking it's an arcade in it. I can see it is a bit faulty. The music's a bit faulty. It isn't the best emulator. And also, it's because um, it's it could be a, it's a high. It's got a lot of data. File. Yeah. So there you guys, uh, minus is to, is to insert a coin, and the uh, plus is to play, no, the two is to play, there we go. There you go guys, you can play your game then, it fully works off that. When you actually play the game, it actually doesn't glitch so much, as I'll show you. Go. It doesn't as glitch as much. Uh, it's gonna be hard one-handed. So you guys shouldn't play your game normally. Oh god. Don't die. So there we are guys, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe for more helps on other things. So yeah, see you later.